How many collar shirts do you have in the closet? And you usually throw them away after numerous times wearing? If you decide to throw away a shirt, please keep the collar. It sounds funny, right? But know what? Nowadays, collars are not just a part of the garment anymore. It can also be an accessories. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to make your very own collar necklaces. And here are the basic things you need. Some O shirts. Some hot fixed rhinestones. An applicator. Embroidery flower lace. Gold metal stud. Some flat back pearls. And of course, a pair of scissors and fabric glue. First, you need to cut all the collars off the shirt. The cutting point should be the bottom of the collar band. I would recommend you to use men's shirt because the collars are in much better form and stronger to hold all the beads, crystals, or stuff that you're gonna put on them later. And it's easier for you to create whatever style that you wanna do. The first collar that's gonna have a makeover is the crystal collar. Here, I use an applicator to pick up a rhinestone and wait for a few seconds till the glue at the back of the rhinestone is melted down. And I'm gonna place it down along the collar seam to create a beautiful shiny line. For this type of collar, I prefer pairing it with some simple plain outfits and statement accessories. It's an opposite room. You want the full attention on your collar and because your collar is so sparkling, it should speak on its own. Moving on to the second colors, I'm using the gold metal heart shape stud to decorate it. I'm poking one by one stud through the collar and bending the pearl back down to hold it tightly. Some certain colors with thick material like the one I'm having, you may have to use some tools like tweezers to create a hole before pushing the pearl through easily. Like the first color, I don't want to exaggerate it, so I just focus on decorating at the color point area and leave the rest of the color empty. Again, you just want to highlight it, not overly do it. This type of color is perfect for the round neck, boat neck, sweaters, shirts, jeans, and it really has a huge impact on your outfit. It looks a little bit edgy, but it can also be sweet at the same time, and I just personally like it a lot. actually pretty easy to do. Here I am applying fabric glue onto the collar seam and quickly placing one pole at a time onto the glued area to create a beautiful black pearl seam line. And you can see it's totally changed the entire look of the collar magically. You can wear this collar with any dress, top, neat wear or anything because it's so sweet, so girly and feminine. <laughs> And the Wonder Girls. Okay, that is one of my favorite colors. I call it the lace up color. It took a little bit more time and effort to do than with the others. Using the two black embroidery flower laces, I'm gonna glue it onto the color to create more dramatic look and strong contrast. While waiting for the glue to dry, I'm going to heat up the applicator and prepare for crystallizing time. <laughs> To give more statement for this color, I'm gonna add on some black rhinestones along the flower lace to make it more stand down. This step will take about 15 to 20 minutes to finish because you need to glue one by one stone to the color. It needs a lot of patience, I know, but hey, it's paid off. Here is the final look. What do you think? I'm so in love with this color and it's so easy to pair with any black, white, or even red outfit in the closet. And it's so beautiful. So I hope you found the color that you like and let's find some time this weekend to create a very unique color for yourself. Don't forget to leave me some comments below and tweet me some photos to show me what you've got. I hope you enjoyed my video and good luck.